Well, for many voters, the crisis on our southern border is their number one political issue. While lawmakers in Washington are struggling to find solutions, one group of Christian women is making trips to the border to pray for migrants and patrol agents. Charlene Aaron brings us their story. A new LifeWay study found that 91 percent of evangelicals favor immigration legislation that guarantees tighter borders. That same number also supports immigration measures that respect the God-given dignity of every person. The group Women of Welcome is doing just that, approaching the issue from a biblical stance, not a political one. I've been working in the pro-life movement really for pre-born lives and kids who are trapped in foster care or were awaiting forever families. And I was just challenged by a friend who worked really in the immigration space with World Relief to say, hey, does your pro-life agenda, does your pro-life biblical worldview extend to those across the border? For Women of Welcome's Bree Stensrud, who leads a community of more than 13,000 evangelical Christian women, that answer was no. A trip to the U.S.-Mexico border in 2019 changed both her mind and heart. I met with vulnerable mothers and migrant children who were also mothers themselves due to the violence that had happened to them in their countries. And they were seeking safety. They were seeking a different life. And that wasn't the narrative that I was hearing. It wasn't the narrative that um, my other friends in my conservative Christian circles were hearing either. And so it really grieved me because I thought if my girlfriends could see what I've seen on the other side of the border, they would be just as grieved too. I would want to say to another mother who was a seeking asylum, that I'm so sorry. <sighs> and also that you are doing a great job and that all the little things you do for your kid, that all those little things matter. It is a sentiment Stensrud believes other Christian women would likely openly share, were it not for partisan politics. It's very hard to detangle and let yourself sit back a ways to take in the full picture. Because right now, each party is being fed a certain narrative about what should be happening along the border. We should be seeing what's happening at the border as an opportunity, a gospel opportunity, an eternity kingdom possibility. That possibility turns into reality during her group's trips to the border. Opportunities to pray for migrants and Border Patrol agents abound, with officers seeking prayer for rising suicide rates among their ranks, safety concerns, and help with their families. Every officer has always accepted our prayer, and uh, we, we huddle them up in a circle, we lay our hands on them, and we thank them for showing up in some of the hardest parts of humanity mm -hmm. and trying to affirm people's dignity as they are approached by them. While Stinsroot points out their work is not politically motivated, she admits disappointment that lawmakers have failed to make progress. There are just, you know, really some detractors that are showing up and persuading people otherwise. And Americans in general, but conservative Christians, they want a solution for vulnerable people showing up at our border and vulnerable people around the globe. We want to see people work together for the flourishing of people, no matter what party you're you're siding with on any given year. Meanwhile, as the nation grapples with the issue, the Bible calls Stensrud and others to take the lead. It doesn't mean that everybody gets into the U.S. We, we have to have thorough vetting, and the Lord is going to hold us accountable to how we treat the sojourner. You don't have to leave conviction to have compassion. And just come in and see what the Lord says in the whole arc of Scripture, and let that inform the ways that you show up politically to make a solution for thousands and thousands of people and Americans alike. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. Is the verse in 1 John 3. I think as a church, I think our call is to, is to get closer. Charlene Aaron, CBN News. Well, it's unfortunate a humanitarian crisis has become such a highly charged political issue. And there are problems on both sides of the aisle. I'll, I'll just point out two major ones. Uh, Attorney General S Jeff Sessions uh, establishing a rule that migrant children are, are separated from their parents uh, at the border. That was absolutely inhumane. I, I don't see how you can possibly defend that. On the other side, uh, with the Biden administration uh, seeming to ignore that there was a border crisis and that millions of people were, were crossing and that was going to have 
unbelievable consequences for every major city in, in America. And so now you're seeing the Democrat mayors of New York and Chicago criticizing their own party and their own administration and their own policy. And what he did was essentially say, I'm, I'm not going to enforce the border laws. That, that got around the world. People as far away as, 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 as Afghanistan are saying, uh, well, let's go to America. Let's go to the land of milk and honey. Let, uh, let's get out of these horrible situations. And so whether it's a hot spot in Africa, a hot spot in the Middle East, uh, Venezuela, we're seeing a flood come in. And literally, we can't support it. Uh, our systems aren't built for it. So, Ashley, what mm -hmm. should Christians do? I mean, I definitely commend the women of Welcome. I absolutely love what they're doing. And I love what she said. You don't have to leave your conviction to have compassion. And I think that's important. No matter where you're at on the political aisle, to remember, you know, as Christians, we're called to be compassionate and to love our neighbor love the immigrant, love the stranger. So. And uh, what I would love to see coming out of any administration is can we have a plan of how do we provide for them in their home countries mm. uh, so that they don't have to flee? Uh, that's a much bigger issue, and, and it's unfortunate. We had a story earlier about pulling out from Afghanistan. It's unfortunate what's happening there. It's unfortunate what happened in Venezuela. It, it's an absolute humanitarian crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, but just in, in Mexico, how can we make sure that they have uh, what they need and can have a hope in a future? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's right in our own backyard. So, um, you know, can we take it a piece at a time? But you, from my standpoint, you have to enforce the borders. Uh, you can't just have open borders where people can cross in. Uh, it's going to lead to chaos, and we're already seeing it. Yeah, just a good reminder. Let's have compassion, everyone.